The following is a presentation of UFF Sports and the Ultimate Fantasy Sports Network. Welcome, everybody. We are live for the AFLL Game of the Week. As we're ready to rock and roll, baby, it's time. It is time. Andy McNamara alongside Dan Esposito as we polish off week number 10 in the American Football Legends League. Valhalla versus Birds of Prey. Dan, how you doing? Awesome. I'm trying to get our uh, game up on the big screen so we Ooh. can uh, have a big screen experience here. Excellent. That's always yeah. good. And hey, we got behind me. You see my UFAFL hat. Get your merch shop already. UFFsports.com. And now Stevens. we're going to have, Bye hey, you know what? That other comment there, get him out of there. Get those amateurs out of here, those Axis guys. No way. You got the prime time here, baby. We got Andy Mack and Dan Esposito. Hey, Dan, listen, let's get to your, your expose, your keys to the game. Quarterback wise, Michael Vick on Valhalla versus John Elway of the uh, Birds of Prey. Both these quarterbacks, statistically wise, have really underperformed so far this year. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I'm going to kind of shy away once again from the quarterbacks and look at what I think really is the key to victory it, going for most of the season and probably where I'm going to spend a lot of time focusing my expose. But really, I'm looking at offensive line again. And if I look at the offensive lines of both of these teams, I see one that stands out quite a bit more than the other. And that may be why these quarterbacks maybe have underperformed. First, you got Mike Vick, who's more of a running quarterback, but in this league, we don't really have running options for the quarterbacks right now. Not a lot of rollout plays, things like that. Um, but Michael Vick does have a really strong offensive line, but he's not known for his arm and his accuracy. On the other hand, you've got someone like John Elway, who was also another running quarterback, a little bit better known for his arm than, say, Michael Vick. In terms of accuracy, maybe not strength, but he's got an offensive line that's rated lower. We've got Valhalla with a 96.4 overall rating in offensive line, and you've only got a 92.2 with Birds of Prey, which sort of is on the on the lower end end of the rating here with the uh, UFF, uh, U uh, AFLL uh, offensive line. So I'm going to look really just at offensive line here and say Valhalla probably is going to be the winner here uh, based on the 96.4 rating. You've got Forrest Gregg with a 99, Dan Deerdorf and Jim Park with a 97, and Art Shell with a 99 a really strong offensive line and you've got solid 92s across the board with birds of prey. So my expose is Valhalla is going to win this one. I think in a landslide because of the offensive line. Landslide prediction. Michael Vick, it is just out of reach. Now one other weapon, the running game, Dan, we've talked about it has come alive really bit by bit since week three in the AFL. And we've seen a lot of chunk games, including Jim Brown, who's on, Valhalla they have the ball right now Bo Jackson is the fullback in the I formation Brown behind him hands off to Jackson little fullback run to the left just short of the first down marker but Dan Jim Brown top running back in the AFLL last week top performer and is the AFLL rushing yards leader coming in at 708. Yeah it's really interesting I, I spent some time with uh with with uh Sean, the owner of Valhalla this weekend, we actually went out and hung, you know, hung out this, uh, this, oh, nice. uh, this weekend. And, uh, from what I understand, he's actually looking to shop Jim Brown, uh, oh. as, uh, rumors that he's trying to okay. try to move him. So, um, if there's any teams, uh, out there looking for, for a running back, that might be your guy, but you know, it, I don't know why he'd shop a guy like that, but then you look to see who his second second uh string quarter uh running back isn't it's bo jackson so he's got some really strong running backs on his team so you know another another uh sort of leaning uh towards victory in his favor there based on his running backs well we got warrior valhalla we have sean in the chat right now 
So, Sean, hey, if you want to adjust people, if Jim Brown's on the market, man, trade deadline. By the way, trade deadline, folks, 9 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. So Tuesday. Oh, goodness. 9 Eastern is the AFLL trade deadline. So keep an eye on that. Second and 22 for the Birds of Prey right now. Back in their own end zone. Waiting, surveying the field. It's Elway. It's back. It's deep. It is caught. It is caught. McCaffrey, dad of Christian, hauls it in into Valhalla territory. All right. I finally got the uh, the game up here in front of me. So there we go. Birds of Prey got the ball. Okay. Good stuff. Let's go. There's Elway. Clips it down. It is hit to Hall. Hall shakes a tackle. And Hall is into the end zone. Touchdown. Birds of Prey. Dante Hall with the spike. Elway to Hall. And the birds strike first. Yeah, that that I'm I'm having trouble casting here, so I think I'm gonna have to play this thing in front of me instead of on the uh, on the big screen. On the big screen, unfortunately, okay. but that'll help me with the chat a little bit as well. So yeah, you can man, deal. you can man the chat. You can man the chat. Let us know there anybody. There. Hey, give us a follow. Make sure you're following. Jump in the chat room. Lots of fun here. Legends facing off against each other dream battles as it's kicked out for the touchback we'll see how valhalla responds you got michael vick four-time pro bowler jim brown bo jackson uh the kicker one of my all-time favorite cleveland browns phil dawson is on the team that's how you know you're a fan of a bad team if you're you know you get to say about the kicker <laughs> michael vick to the right side it is caught by jim brown who had over 300 total yards last week and we'll see what he does coming into this game dan because it took a little while for Jim Brown to be utilized and figured out the right way in this league. And boy, Sean has certainly put the pieces together to make Jim Brown a force as he rumbles forward for a chunk gain of about eight and another first down. Yeah, Jim Brown is, uh, he is a, if we can get this uh, running game going in this league, he'd be somebody that you really don't want to get rid of because as we progress as a league, that may be a position that's really valuable in the future. Well, no doubt. And you have Lionel Dalton, who's the owner of Birds of Prey, also a player in this league as he won a Super Bowl with the Baltimore Ravens. I'll tell you a funny story about when Lionel came on as an owner, what he had to do. And is that what? No, it's Zach Thomas, the man on the other side of him on the interior, blasting Michael Vick into the turf, third and 17. Got a nice defense for Birds of Prey. Michael Vick, he waits, he waits. He's going deep. It's single coverage. It's caught by Clark, Gary Clark, over the shoulder, and a fist pump from Vick. Phenomenal. Now going out of the eye formation, you got two receivers to the left. Play action. Vic waits, waits. Now it's to the right side. It's caught by Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson can't get into the end zone, but can get to the chain. A gain of 12. And now, Dan, I love this because Bo Jackson wasn't really being utilized earlier in the year. Now we see Jim Brown and Bo Jackson, those two weapons. And Valhalla, watch out. Yeah, I'm really I'm, I'm I'm having trouble getting this on my oh. screen right now, so that's why I'm a little slow with the commentary. That's, not, that's <laughs> but, all right. Greg Olson really, to the one. Ha, there we go. All right. So we got Greg Olson to the one. Bo Jackson in the fullback role. Vic's gonna throw it. The heat's coming. He got rid of it though, and oh, Jackson, he rolled out. Kind of actually went over the middle, and is that is as close as you can get to. <sighs> Being a touchdown is not. That looks like it's over the line to me. Looks like it's over the line. I guess uh, in the digital world, maybe that's not the case. Maybe not. Jim Brown, it's a fumble, and it's picked up at the one. Oh, Oh! no. No, 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 no. Leroy Butler. A rare fumble. A rare fumble by Jim Brown. Leroy Butler, the 12-year vet, won the Super Bowl 31 with the Packers, picks it up. Birds of prey. Oh, no. John Elway, play action. He's in that end zone. Lots of time for Elway. Right over the middle, swatted down. Well done by London Fletcher of Valhalla. He'd like to get some heat on the quarterback here. Let's see who uh, Valhalla has with their uh, defensive line. Maybe Manny Fernandez, Chris Long, Randy White. You know, they got Henry Jordan. So they got some pretty stout defensive linemen here. Um, And Keith Bullock at linebacker. Maybe be able to get in there and get a sack, get a safety, maybe get that ball back. Well, Emmett Smith... Did his job by clearing out some space. Gain of six on that run through the left side. Going back to Smith. It worked. Why not? Cannot get that edge pinned by Waters. He is tackled for a loss. It is fourth and five. 
So birds of prey and Craig Hendrick will have to punt, but at least they got a little bit of space. He's still in his end zone. So it'll be great field position. No harm done on the scoreboard on that fumble at the inch line. But you still Valhalla. want those points. Yeah, you still kind of hate to give up those points when you're seemingly in the end zone here. I'm not sure if uh, we might want to go back to the replay next year. We might have to install that as an owner's group. But uh, <laughs> maybe if Sean can get some, Valhalla can get some points here and kind of make up for that intercept or that fumble. Throw to that sideline. Bo Jackson with the catch. Jackson sprinting, using that power, those powered legs to burst down the sideline. Bo Jackson. Having arguably his best game of the season, thirty-nine yards to the air already. And yeah, Bo Jackson. Set. Yeah, Bo Jackson's one of those guys who can do everything. Yeah, except play hockey. But I mean, a lot of guys, a lot of younger guys, don't really understand the legend that is Bo Jackson. Bo yeah. Jackson is quite possibly, if he could have played a full career, the greatest running back that's ever played this game. It's Jim Brown to that right side. Got the edge, did Brown, and he muscles his way third and inches. Again, super close, but Jim Brown obviously not losing any confidence whatsoever. The AFL L leading rushing star, and boy, we know all the records he has. He had all of them. It was arguably the best ever. Bo Jackson Oof. smashes his way to a first down. Yeah, Bo Jackson's a 4'3", 40 guy, 225 pounds, uh, can run, can catch, you know, can block, can run over people, can run past people. Jim Brown left side. Jim Brown, he cuts back, implanted that big foot and gains 10. The running game coming alive for Valhalla and gashing birds of prey right now. Dan, maybe a fun question we put in the chat right now is if people can name the baseball teams that Bo Jackson played for. Oh, uh, sure. He's coming end zone and it's out. Vic was pressured heavily by Howie Long from that left edge and had to throw it away. So there you go, folks. There's your challenge. Name the teams that Bo Jackson played for in his baseball career. Why am I not able to see the chat here? Vic, it's wide open and it's a touchdown. Jim Brown with the jump, the celebration. Jim Brown will even things up as long as Bill Dawson can kick the extra point. Dan, that's as simple backyard football as you can get. Just a nice little rollout. Out of the backfield, and he connects, and we are all tied up, folks, in the first quarter. Now, now, if so, did someone answer that that poll question? Let me see here. If you you can't see the chat, I believe there's there might be that little there's a little arrow on the right side. Maybe you click and it's up. A oh, bit. expand that. Expand that could it. be okay. There, there we go. go. Thank you very much. No problem. I painted all day. I've been sucking in paint fumes today. Oh boy. <laughs> so. <laughs> And I had my dominoes early, so we're not going to get that on video today. But I we did have get dominoes that on video. today. Yeah. Had a boy. Good man. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll work on him. We'll get him Domino's Pizza. Come on. You've been sponsoring me up in Canada for years. Let's make it happen. Oh, penalty. Millard offside. And it'll be a first and five. Birds of Prey accept. Now, can you name three Jim Brown movies? I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I, you know what? I don't think I could name. I honestly don't think I could name one. I know really? A, I know it's a heck of a. Oh, oh, there's Hall. Hall who had the touchdown. Hall ducked underneath. Ooh. What a run. Dante Hall. Filthy. Filthy duck. Wow. Yeah. Man. Whoa, man. He had Ken Riley come over the top there, Dan, and he just ducked right underneath. He, he makes that first guy miss quite often. He is. Wow. He's got some good moves in this game. Yeah. Pitch to Emmett Smith. He is taken down with authority by London Fletcher. What a stud he was, of course. 16-year career. Won Super Bowl 34 at the Rams. Man. That was a great, that was a great catch and run. Now out of the pistol. You got Emmett Smith behind him. Two receivers to the left. Elway. Lots of time. That offensive line holding up. It is caught over the middle by Hall again. First down. Another Warriors says. Uh, Chicago White Sox. So Warriors says Chicago White Sox for one. That is correct, but there are others. He played for the White Sox. That's right. He, he came yeah. back, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Another pitcher left side thing. for Smith and seven yards down. Yeah, London Fletcher is another one of those guys where they made it into – if you make it into the AFLL, you're one of the greatest of all time, even if you didn't make it into the Hall of Fame. But there is a lot of guys who have made it who – 
were free agent acquisitions who didn't get drafted, who, you know, were very, very late round draft picks. And London Fletcher is one of those guys. He was not drafted. He was, um, uh, he was with division three, uh, John Carroll university. Oh, John Carroll. Ooh, that is just, and I mean, just broken up intended for Andre bad moon rising. Of the birds of prey. All right. Well, they'll go for the field goal here. Josh Brown coming out. You see Manny Fernandez, one of the defensive ends there for Valhalla. It is up and it is good for 41 yards. So birds of prey take a 10-7 lead with 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Make sure, folks, you're following us on Twitter at AndyMC81 at Almighty Espo, the league itself at the AFLL. Make sure you click follow here. Tons of content coming. Actually, we got a little game as well. During halftime, if you scroll down from the screen a little bit, you'll see Snap. We're working on the extensions, get more interactivity on the channel so you can have some fun during a break or whatnot. So, so now, Dan, we'll see what Valhalla can do in reply out of the eye. The run game has been quite effective. Michael Vick doesn't go to it. Oh, that's a great breakup by Terrell Suggs. Suggs swatted that down from Webster Slaughter. Now we'll see Michael Vick. One touchdown, no picks so far. He is coming. Oh, he got rid of it just in time. Just in time. Zach Thomas was right there, Dan. Oh, yeah. he was right there. Yeah, Zach Thomas not known for his speed, thank goodness, for Valhalla. So couldn't get there, but uh, really good. You know, uh, got the ball off quick and uh, no harm, no foul. Michael Vick again. Double coverage and pass is broken up. Combination of Jimmy Patton. And Patrick Certain Jr., or senior rather, Jr., is with the uh, Denver Broncos. It's a first round pick in 2021. His son, Reggie Roby, with the big boot punt, going to get it to the 18, and it's Patton. Whew, just ferocious shoulder tackle. All right. Should we have the answer for the, uh, let's see, o only guess has been the White Sox. Should we give you the answer, uh, Dan? Should we break it down? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I yeah, sure. If you want to do it, that's great. Oh, or did, did did you look it up? Do you want to guess, or did you? Look no, it I up? know who it is. I mean, come on, Bo it? Jackson is my. If I could be any other person in the world, it would have been Bo Jackson. Would have been Bo. <laughs> yeah. So of course, Kansas City Royals. Yep. Where he, where he was most famous, Chicago White Sox, and the one other team. Really. 1994 played seventy five games. He batted. 279. He actually finished up pretty good. 13 home runs. It was the California Angels. Oh, wow. Interesting. How about that? that was that his last team? That was his last team, 1994. Hmm. Yeah. So one right. other little hiccup. So there you have it, folks. Tune in to Game of the Week. You'll learn something. Elway, wide open. It's Heap. Heap was able to grab it. Todd Heap's the tight end for the Birds of Prey. You also have Bob Trumpy on that team as tight end. You know, I'm, I'm watching here, and I may 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 want to renege a little bit on my my expose because I did not realize I'm looking at Valhalla's uh, receiving core and uh, don't have any real strong, you know, anyone 95 or above in their receiving core. So they got a lot of time to throw, and they've they've had a lot of time to throw so far in this game. But the receiving core is a, not the strongest in the league, so. You know, taking a look at the uh, at the uh, defensive backs, though, for Birds of Prey, and you've got not the strongest defensive backfield as well. You've got 93 for Leroy Butler. Your safety is your strongest guy. Ooh, you got a 92 fumble, a fumble, Dan. Ones. It's uh -oh. a fumble. It's picked up by Valhalla. Bullock got it. Keith Bullock, who got into the backfield earlier. Bullock, the ball was knocked loose. Elway. Had it out of his hands on third and three. Valhalla comes up with it. The recovery from Bullock. They take over from the 35. There's Jim Brown for two. So two turnovers in this game, a close one, 10-7, as we're two minutes into the second quarter. But, yeah, what I was saying is they uh... – they, uh, you know, if he could get run of one of, rid of one of those running backs there for a receiver, he might mm -hmm. be able to really make some noise here because, like I said, really one of the strongest offensive lines. So having trouble, especially on that last series, bringing the ball in with the receivers. Right. Well, hey, trade deadlines tomorrow, kids. 
9 p.m. Or if two of the offseason, Michael Vick blowing up Zach Thomas again. They're really pushing back Jim Parker for Valhalla. And there's that, that wide open gap that Zach Thomas is taking advantage of. And really, Lionel Dalton himself, nicknamed Jelly Roll, the owner of the team and also player, clearing that path away. Now we have Patton bringing it back in. Patton, Ooh. Well, big old hit. But they had so two turnovers for one turnover for each team, two total, and no harm done on the scoreboard. And yeah, back it's a very there. close game. We're in the second quarter, and it's not a blowout. Yeah. That's amazing. That's great. There's Hall again. Dante Hall having a heck of a ball game early. Second and six picked up four. You also have Ed McCaffrey, Chad Ochocinco, Johnson, Andre Bad Moon Rising, Todd Heap, Bob Trumpy. Second and five out of the IM. It's Smith going to the left side. Duck underneath. There have been some dirty jukes in this game, Dan. We saw a spin from Emmett earlier. That duck underneath by Hall. Some, some light feet. Next year, I'd like to see uh, stiff arms in the game. Hopefully, uh, Danny's putting that in. It might be. He's adding a ton of stuff. What a, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, what a dance out of the way for Elway. You're talking about that agility. He got away from Keith Millard right there. Ooh. Fourth down, though, they're going to have to punt. Craig Hendrick comes out. That was a nice little sidestep there by Elway. All right, a little back and forth. Here's Ryan. London, London Fletcher, by the way, uh, Cleveland boy. Is he from Cleveland? He's from Cleveland, yeah. There you go. All right. Knew I liked him. Four-time pro bowler. Mm-hmm. Two-team all-pro. Second-team all-pro. Yeah. Yep. Okay, now we got Michael Vick and Val Halleck trailing 10-7, 11 6 to go in the second quarter. Go to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson just carries the pile, pushes it down. And, oh, a face mask on top of it. Leroy Butler, 15 yards. Leroy Butler who had the fumble recovery earlier for Birds of Prey, called for a face mask, and that's going to help out Valhalla here. What a nice day for Bo Jackson. Good to see him more involved. Michael Vick, five-step drop. Survey, surveys going left side, side. He just throws it. He just played all missed him. He missed Doug Baldwin there. Yeah, he was covered well. That might have been Bo Jack. That might have been Jim Brown out of that backfield in that little swing swing uh, pass, but I'm we'll not sure. Come up the other side. Hmm. Yeah. Second and ten. Vic. Oh, pressure coming. Great hole, but that offensive line connects with Webster Slaughter, another former Cleveland Brown. Webster Slaughter out of the slot, one of the best in the '80s, and Slaughter came out with it. Great job there. You saw Columbus and Forrest Gregg just holding. They're being pushed back by Lionel Dalton and Julius Peppers, and they were able to hold up. Can they do it again? Right side. Oh, and just out of reach of Gary Clark. I'll give you five five score coin if you can tell me what Webster Slaughter's middle name is. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Did I, did I get it? Here's the crazy thing. You got the first letter. So I'm going to tell you that, and I'm going to give you okay. three more chances. Let's see. Michael. Okay. Okay. Uh, Malcolm. No, but you're getting closer toward the nerd nerd names. <laughs> uh, Melvin. That's it. I got really? a five score. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. How we long got the Jim Brown there. All right. There we go. Melvin. Webster Melvin Slaughter. See, you have the, the first two names. They're so cool. Like, the Webster going with the Slaughter, those are awesome. Here's a big kick attempt. Way back. It's back deep, deep, deep. Good. 59 yards. By Phil Dawson, of course, most field goals made in Cleveland Browns history. He passed Lou the Toe Groza in 2010. And we're all tied up. 10 all. Slaughter was a second round draft pick. Do you know which college you went to? I don't. I don't I don't know that. San Diego State. Six Ooh. foot, 175 pounds. Little guy. Little guy. Yeah, Little nice. Guy. Played a lot, though. Played what? Working with Bernie? Yeah. We don't Here's have Kozar in this. In this, uh, He wasn't available Ooh. in this. He, he was, but he wasn't drafted. He's uh, uh, My guy, Bernie, is on the bench. Andre Risen with the dip to get the first down. Yeah, Bernie is uh, maybe in the AFLL expansion. Someone will pick up Bernie Kozar. Yep. Him and Elway. Boy, you talk about the battles they had in those three straight AFC championship games. Brown should have gotten to at least one Super Bowl out of it. Yeah, I know that I actually bet my stepfather one game that I, I bet the Browns would beat the Broncos, and yeah, I lost oh, that bet. Yeah. Dang, dang. 
Oh, Elway smoked. Oh, great hit. I believe that was Keith Millard who went in there. And funny enough, Dan, we have a father-son combo opposite side. Chris Long is on Valhalla, and Howie Long is on Birds of Prey. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. Emmett How Smith. We... Oh, take it out of his shoes on that hit. Picked up four, but it brings it fourth down. So do we have two father-son combos in the AFLL, right? Yes. Who's the other one? We have uh, the, the running backs for uh, uh, one of the guys is one of our guys. It's uh, it was the Cleveland running. Who's who's who are oh, NFT oh, running backs? Oh, 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 Eric Metcalf. Yes, yes, Metcalf, yes. Metcalf, Eric, yeah, and Terry, Perfect. and Terry, yes, right, exactly, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. They're both on. <laughs> they're both on Beowulf, actually. Oh, they're on the same team. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually, when when we uh we're doing the AFL auction show, oh, incomplete double coverage down in the interior seam. Falls short. Uh, but yeah, when Eric Metcalf was hosting, co-hosting with me, our franchise auction show from the Pro Football Hall of Fame in October, and he said he had the Pro Football Hall of Fame brought up some of, of t- his dad's stuff. And, had oh, no kidding. and he said it'd be a dream of his to be able to play on the same team as his dad. He got, you know, he got, you could tell he was in his, uh, in the feelings a little bit with that. And he was, he really thought that'd be cool. And now we're able to do that for him so he is on the same team with his dad but he just said make sure he gets the ball more and bail has a lot <laughs> right right <Yeah. laughs> it's uh that's what um uh lebron says he's playing just so he can play one year with uh Bronny. very cool that'd yeah. be awesome just like the gordy howe uh legend right with his sons getting to play there there's jim brown oh oh dan jim brown was a half foot away from taking this thing to the house howie long pinned him got free just long enough to grab him. And now we have the two wide at Baldwin and Ward on the left. Ooh, pick. another oh, pick. Intercepted, intercepted. Yes, Butler. Leroy Butler. A second turnover. Butler with a fumble recovery and now an INT on Michael Vick. And watch out. At the 43 in Valhalla territory, all tied up at 10, 6, 11 left. John Elway. Oh, my Lays goodness. It. It's picked off the other way. And it's Waters. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> I, I love it. This is amazing. Charlie Waters. Okay. I'm flipping. I got my notebook here, folks. With the Everybody written down. I'm flipping back and forth. We've got to go, go right back. And a penalty. False start on Art Shell. The right tackle for Valhalla. All right. Let's see. With 602 left. And Dan, funny story. So Lionel Dalton, we heard Bill Romanowski's name earlier in the game. Bill Romanowski was who Lionel had to trade him for himself to Valhalla for. Right, right. So That's had, funny. Jerry Clark with the catch first down. Yeah. So he had to, he, he said he forgot to draft himself. So he had to give it Bill Romanowski to Valhalla, who then gave him himself. Lionel he Dalton. probably didn't think he would go as high as wherever Valhalla drafted right. him. Is he, <laughs> so what's his rate? 87 rating? What's, it, what's his rating? Oh, on we're back. Is that caught? Baldwin caught it. Baldwin got it through double coverage, sticky fingers, inhaled that pass, brings it to the nine for Valhalla. Wow. Continue that story in a second. Jim Brown right side, found that hole, got maybe one and a half. So I haven't heard Heinz Ward or Paul Warfield's name. Um, it was both still on on Valhalla, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, didn't trade those guys away. Yeah, so got a lot of Doug Baldwin, a lot of Gary Clark, a little Webster Slaughter, but his highest rated receivers haven't gotten in the mix much. And I wonder, is that covered by Birds of Prey? Is that a Sam Madison, Patrick Sutton Jr.? Those safety locking them down a little bit or just choice? Who knows? Pitch Maybe. out to Brown. Brown, whoa, Brown turned inside out in a cartwheel. I don't know if we'd ever seen Jim Brown hit like that. Peter Pullware, and I don't know if he would have t- done cartwheels like that. Phil Dawson, they're going to have to settle for the field goals. They're kept out at the three-yard line. Dawson with the chip shot. It's good. And Valhalla takes the lead. There you go. And actually, Dan, you said Lionel Dalton's year so far. Um, He's got 17 sacks and three forced fumbles so far on the year for Lionel. Wow. He's got to give himself an extension. Yeah. Yeah. Give himself a little bonus. 
Yeah, I wonder if he's going to protect himself in the uh, expansion draft. Ooh. Well, that, hey, you got to leave 10 players unprotected. I mean, think about it, really. Like, I mean, do you really, what's the value there to let go of someone higher rated than you? That's you know, first year, it might be fun to have yourself on your own team, but yeah, that's interesting. I wonder what he's going to do there. Rick Rock 369 Valhalla, and happy birthday. To Tony, hash, or you know, aka Rick Rock. Uh, who who is Rick Rock? Tony. It's Tony, Tony? Yeah, yeah. Oh, our, our Tony. Kid. It was it for his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to the boss man, Tony. Nice. Happy Celebrating birthday. Down Tony. In Costa Rica. There's Elway. Elway fires over the middle, complete to Bad Moon Rising. I think I told the story last time, Dan, but I'll say it again for those who are, are new. Andre Rising. Went if, as a free agent, went to the Browns and Art Modell, who is, whore, in my opinion, uh, w- one of the worst owners who uh, in NFL history because he moved the Browns and I'm glad he's not in the Hall of Fame. Hope he never gets there. Uh, but <laughs> he, he had it. Oh, and it's caught by Heat. Well done to the 35. Uh, but what happened was he brought in Andre Risen. But Dan, before the contract was signed, he went to the media, was like, he's the best receiver in the NFL, was just glowing on him and all that. And his agent was like, well, we haven't signed anything. That's going to cost you an extra million bucks. And he had to take out a loan or a line oh. of credit. And it's intercepted by Chancellor. Cam Chancellor to the 30, Valhalla gets it right back. And he had to take out a loan on his wife's credit card because he opened his yap too soon to, to talk about it uh, uh, for Andre Ryzen. So Bad Moon Ryzen milked it and was terrible uh, with the Browns. He just had a, a bad attitude all around. Michael who, Vick. Who was the quarterback those years? Uh, that you know what i think that would have been Vinny testaverde really wow yeah that was post bernie for sure it might have been Vinny. i think it was Vinny. i'd have to double check but i'm pretty sure it was Vinny. michael vick after getting sacked it's, a, it's an interception are you kidding me <laughs> sam madison now what a first half folks a minute 15 left valhalla with the camp chancellor interception and then we see madison with the pick. Let's see what happens here. Elway under center. He waits. Pressure coming. Double coverage. Fearless John O. He doesn't care. He'll throw it back in. Second down from their the 29 in Birds of Prey territory. Man. What date, what date did Art Modell announce that he's moving the team to Baltimore? Mm, the exact date. Uh do you know the year? Oh, oh, year would have been 90. Let me think. 95. Yeah. And was it Halloween? No, that would be great, though. It was partway through the year because the Browns are favored to go to the Super Bowl that it, year. It was just after Halloween. It was November 6th. Yeah. So November right 6th. After Halloween. Oh, yeah. what a heel. Another pick. Another pick. Camp Chancellor with his second INT on the day. Keep flipping that script. The defense having an evening on the game of the week. And funny enough, we saw some chatter. In the, the, the chat rooms and on telegrams in the defense, and the there wasn't enough interceptions. Well, we're seeing it here tonight. My goodness. And a little dump over by Greg Olson, who just did a little button hook there to grab four. So we're right back. <laughs> With 50 seconds left in the second quarter, Valhalla up. They're out of the eye. Bo Jackson lead back. Jim Brown behind him. Vic. Pressure, pressure. And it's caught by Jim Brown. Just a nice little wheel. Right out of the backfield and over the middle, it's complete. And Valhalla, uh, I believe they called the timeout. They're going to keep the the good times rolling here. Okay, you got Dante Hall on the right. Pressure coming. It's intercepted. Are you kidding me? How we long? How we long? The ball got deflected up, and he has it. What a first half, folks! My goodness. 36 seconds. Okay, Dan, I don't know what that's going to happen now. Let's see. All right. There's Elway. Caught by Dante Hall. Ducked underneath it. Touchdown. Birds of prey. Unbelievable. Birds yeah, Dante, of prey. <laughs> yeah, Dante Hall's been the X factor so far, it looks like. I mean, interceptions have been the X factor, but Dante Hall's been the XX factor in this game so far. How many? It's two touchdowns or three touchdowns for him so far? That's his second touchdown. Second the touchdown. The point after is good. Wow. Five interceptions, I think, so far. What a first Yeah. So oh. a little more about Art Modell, which I think you'll find fascinating. He went to 
film school, television school in the 40s and started out his career with a production company and had one of the first cooking shows, uh, first daytime cooking shows in America. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's something. I guess he did something, right? Yeah. Uh, Tony's saying that Vinny Testaverde was the last winning QB for the Jets. He did come out of retirement. I think he was on his couch one time, then 40 something, and he came out and played for the Jets. Is that the last? Is he, is, does Tony mean that's the last winning season the Jets had? Ooh. Can that be real? That can't be. No, 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 no. They went to the playoffs with, uh, with uh, a fumble. fumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both said Mark Sanchez. Right. Mark Sanchez, Sanchez. Right. Exactly. <laughs> At the half, look at this. At the half, Dan. You know what? Let's take a quick break. Yeah. Let's take a quick break. I'm going to fill up on the water. What if 17, 13 birds of prey at the half, folks? We're going to take a quick break. In the meantime, if you want to entertain yourself, you can just scroll down a little bit on the screen. You're going to see a game called Snap. We added that in. Click it. You got to match tiles up. It's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's see that. We're going to take a quick break. Be back in a couple of minutes. I don't know, hey, folks. I don't know how this one's going to turn out. Stay tuned. Game of the week of the American Football Legends League second half coming right up.
All right, everybody. Second half going to start up any moment. Welcome to Crypto Klein. Uh, Corey's in. Corey from Demo Gods. We were just saying that uh, it, it was funny because I know we were talking about like, oh, man, they wish the defensive backs with all the talent would get more interceptions. And I don't know if you caught any of the first half, but we have God, what five total both sides. We had interceptions, two from Camp Chancellor, Sam Madison grabbing one. Uh, Howie Long jumped up, not a DB, of course, a lineman, but uh, Leroy Butler had one. Just a wild, wild first half. Now, I'm curious, am I the only team, uh, so far I'm the only team that I've seen that has interceptions for touchdowns. I think I've you got are two the of only. them. Oh, you know what? Ooh, <clears throat> did Elite have one last or this week? Elite against Corey, if you're listen there, I think Elite had one, but I don't know if it was a fumble recovery touchdown or a, a pick six that was for like four yards. Gotcha. Yeah, I've got two I from don't... Greg Lloyd. You had two from Lloyd. Yeah. Oh, nice. Actually, nice. you know what? No, I think I have one from Greg Lloyd. I think one was uh, called back as we. Uh, restarted the game for a for okay. a uh, player Corey said yes elite did have one last nice. pick six okay yeah i knew it was a short i knew it was a short one but uh yes, yeah those are exciting those are really cool might have been len was it len ford i'm not sure so i'm going to talk a little bit more about art model in between the the, the the conversations here because he's a team owner and we have a lot of team owners here that may be interested in the road to success Absolutely. Uh, let's say, hey, let's tee this one up. First of all, I'm Andy Matner. That's Dan Esposito. Get us on Twitter at AndyMC81 at Almighty Espo, the league at the AFLL on Instagram at the UFAFL. Great first half, lots of interceptions. Birds of Prey, owned by Lionel Dalton, who's also a player on this team. Jelly Roll, Super Bowl champ with the Ravens uh, versus Valhalla. And owner Sean's in here as well. Uh, and boy, it's it's a an, an exciting, exciting first half that we saw and so here we go here we go all right it's a punt back there a minute up and birds of prey leading uh, wow. 17, 13. Uh, it, got Ooh, oh, it just got did in it? Just, did it yeah okay. just got in all right you want to do some art model so art model so after his career in his little production video production let's watch this play here we have elway with the pitch out to Smith, and he jukes back to the middle, gain a one. He then went and worked for a as a salesperson for a, I think, like an alcohol company. Oh. Became partner. Boom. But to Emmett Smith. Drilled. Big hit. Big that, hit. Company, that company was dissolved. He then went to work. He, he then bought, I think, a wine company. He had a little bit of money. And then right after that, this is just a, like six, seven years after graduating from, maybe 10 years after graduating from college, decided to buy the Browns for $4 million. Jeez. Got a bought group of Browns. investors, had to borrow $2 million, which is about what he had to borrow to sign Andre Risen, yeah. and became the, became the majority owner of the Browns. Wow. And his first, uh, his first, official decree as owner of the Browns was telling one of the greatest football minds in the history of football, that he's no longer running the football operations of the team. Told yep. Paul Brown that it was Paul Brown, right? It was the coach. It was, it yeah. was. And he, boy, he held it against his whole, whole career. I bet. Uh, the rest of the rest of his life. Yeah. Really incomplete on the deep path. Yeah. And, and Modell also, heck you let you Jim Brown walk too. Right. Did he? I, I didn't get that far. So. Yeah, well, well, because because Jim Brown, it was he wanted to make one of you mentioned the movies earlier. So J back then, of course, NFL players weren't making the coin they were today. So getting in a movie was a big deal. And Jim Brown said, "Well, I need to do this movie, so I need X number of days off." And he said, "You play football, you go to the movie." And he's like, "All right, I'm retiring." And it was as simple as that. Wow. So thanks, Art Modell. You got rid of J uh, Paul Brown, the greatest football mind maybe ever, and Jim Brown. Well, I have to say, it's saying right here, by the end of the 62 season, Jim Brown and Milt Plum went to Modell to complain about Paul Brown's coaching methods. Hmm. So that's a little little, little plot that's twist there. That's a little plot twist. Yeah. Mike Vick fires to the right side, complete, brought in and inhaled by Jim Brown. Mike Vick on string. 
Uh, very, very. And of course, then, yeah, Paul Brown eventually founded the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, Paul Brown Stadium. His son, Mike Brown, still runs the team to this day. Oh, and there's Jim Brown again. Oh, oh to the nine. Ni- well, no, he did get full. He got a full 10 as Jim Brown, just with a, for a man that size to be that slippery. Very impressive. Mike Vick drops back. That O-line holding well. Pressure coming, though. Gango to the right, and it is caught again by Jim Brown. So Jim Brown really being utilized in both capacities here. On the run side and going up the middle, we saw Bo Jackson used quite a bit in the first half. I wonder if we'll see more of that. Interesting, Dan, not a lot. I don't think any catches for Doug Baldwin uh, and, and very little to Gary Clark. There's Greg Olson with another catch. So the actual wide receiver is not being used that much. Yeah, I mean, you've got really strong running backs yeah. on both both squads, especially Valhalla, and it makes a little more sense to throw to them than the receivers if they're open. Sure. There we go. And open there. Greg Olson with Ooh. the stiff arm to the 19. Greg Olson made Sam Madison miss, and he rumbles for a first down. 8.56 to go in the third. Valhalla trails by four. I think Greg Olson is the only tight end on Valhalla's roster. Is that, is that my – Correct. Well, you might be right there. Deep so. pat out of the end zone over the top was looking for Doug Baldwin there. You might be right on that. That's the only one I have written down, unless there's somebody hidden somewhere. But yeah. See Michael Vick, three interceptions. What a an INT fest on both teams during that first half. The defensive packs feasting. There's a Bo Jackson caught it right on that out hash. And you had Terrell Sug be able to hustle over and bring him down. Third and six on the 16 in the red zone. Double wide outs to the right. Jackson, the lead back. Going to Brown. Left side finds that edge. Jim Brown untouched. Touchdown, Valhalla. And Jim Brown with his second score of the game. Yeah, I mean, I'm really like, look, I mean, good Lord. He does have the best running back duo here. I mean, he's got a 99 in Jim Brown. And Jim Brown, I mean, he's 99 rated across the board, except for speed. He's got a 98. And then you got Bo Jackson, who's a 97 overall, but tackle breaking a 98. Um, you know, speed, obviously, he's a 97. Probably could be higher, to be honest with you. Bo Jackson's super fast. But what an embarrassment of riches there, huh? Oh, I may even consider wanting to move uh, one of those uh, running backs out to, to receiver. Yeah, heck, you know, you you can do that. Roll them out depending how you want to how you want to do it. Yeah. And there's birds of prey. So now trailing by three. Elway. It is caught. Gain of five. Ball at the 30. Warrior Valhalla saying, Oh yeah. Little macho man. He had a lot of time team. there. And Jim Brown, yeah. Rick Rock saying, Jim Brown, one of the best, if not the best, running back of all time. Also considered best collegiate lacrosse player who ever played at a Syracuse. I like throwing that into. You imagine Jim Brown. Dan, imagine Jim Brown at his size coming right. at you with a stick. That'd be yeah. terrifying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a there's a video on TikTok going around. It's a high school kid who's about 280, it looks like. He looks like he probably plays offensive line. And he's just knocking kids all over the place. It's like pretty insane. Yeah. And Birds of Prey going to have to punt here. It'll be Hendrick with the big boot caught at the 12 by Riley. Riley cuts to the left and is brought down at the 22. We'll see if Valhalla now can build on that lead. Three-point lead. They were trailing 17-13 at the half. Vic's going to go under center, sticking with that nice and simple. You got the two wideouts there. Pitch out to Jim Brown to the left, going to the weak side. And, ooh, Blair, not fooled, caught him high. And brought down the big man. Yeah, it looks like Doug Baldwin completely missed his uh, missed his uh, block out there on the uh, left side. Mike Fix got some time. Chucks it right over the middle. Looked like a good pass intended for Greg Olson. Yeah, Derek Johnson is the one who got his hand in there. So here's the backstory on why Jim Brown left the Cleveland Browns. Do you know the whole story? Uh, now, as far as I know, let's just see this play develop here. It's open, caught by White, and yes, gain of six, but it will be fourth down, and Reggie Roby will have to punt. 
as far as I know, it was based on a, a primarily wanting to shoot a movie and Art Modell didn't want to do it. It was either that or football. Then he left, retired to go do the movie. Right, right. Well, he, he the, the movie was running over, production ran over, and mm. he, he, he actually wasn't going to miss any playing time in the season. It was just in some camp. And that ridiculous. And wow. Brown, Modell, threatened to fine him $1,500 a day. <laughs> and then he released a statement out to the press. And then Brown said, all right, I'm just going to retire because I want to finish this movie role. That's ridiculous. Can you have that? Art Modell, right, th- right there, that means you never get into the Hall of Fame. You let Paul Brown go and Jim Brown retire. Right. Based off of right. I mean, who would manager. vote? Who would vote him in? Uh, he's been a finalist for a little bit. Thank goodness he has not gotten in. Right. Yeah. And and of course, moving the Browns out of Cleveland to Baltimore, a thief in the night. Disgusting. Don't get me fired up, Dan. Oh, wow. So so the movie he was filming is probably his most popular movie role. And I'm going to see if anyone in the comments. Oh. I'm knows know what movie that was i'll know when <laughs> i hear so, it it's so easy yeah you know for some reason i want to say dirty dozen but i don't think you're, that's it you're right it's dirty really? dozen i'm gonna give that to you yeah yeah there you go folks that's why professional broadcaster right <laughs> <laughs> evan smith evan smith putting on the moves slippery the plant the jukes the twists and emmett smith for birds of prey what a run there a gain of 10 and this running game again, as we see this develop week after week in the American football legends, league, I love it because we're seeing the evolution, the coaching and just the game planning by our owners and coaches really coming alive. Emmett Smith with the catch, but it'd be a holding call against George Bueller. That one's coming back. I'm going to tell you who was in that movie. You, okay. you won't know some of these names, but these are big names. Lee Marvin, Ernest Borgnine, Charles Bronson, yeah. Jim Brown, John Cassavetes, and then a bunch of people. I don't know who they are, but Telly Savalas. Telly Savalas was in that too. Do you know Telly Savalas? I don't know Ko- Telly. No. Kojak. Oh, I, now I've heard. I've never seen Kojak, but I know Ko- I've heard of Kojak. Yeah, Kojak was like uh, the uh, you know the police movie of its day. He was a of bald guy, and he always had a lollipop in his mouth. Ooh, a lollipop. Todd Heap yep. turned inside out there by Charlie Waters. Who's had himself a heck of a game, third and fourteen. Gain of six after that penalty pushed them back. Charles Bronson, of course, man. Was it Death Wish? Was that his series? Death Wish. Um, gosh. Um, oh, oh, there was a really good one. It was like during the Depression, you had bare knuckle fought. I love it. Hard times. I right, think. right, right. Yeah. Hard times. Yeah, that's a, oh, Charles Bronson. Man's man there, man. Ooh, fourth and five from the 31. Josh Brown going for the kick. It's up. Looks Good. 48-yarder is good by Birds of Prey from Josh Brown. And guess what, folks? We are all tied up with us in two minutes to go in the third quarter. If you're just tuning in, you have come in at the right time. This has been a close one all game long. Absolutely phenomenal action in the American Football Legends League as we wrap up week 10, going into week 11, into this, uh, this week trade deadline coming up Tuesday. Man. Lots and lots of stuff coming up. And make sure, again, you're following on Twitch. You're checking out. We have baseball watch-alongs, hockey, basketball coming, more of these games as well. Uh, Just a ton of action, horse racing with Ross, and and just a whole bunch of content coming right here on Twitch. So make sure you have the notifications pushed to on, and you're following. Always happy to jump in the chat as well. Let's see what Valhalla can do. Tied at 20, as I said. Michael Vick. It's sideline. Ooh, that was that looked catchable there. Gary Clark. You had certain coming down and Eric right in the nickel there, but T uh, no, broke it up. Minute 22 left. Have you seen Dirty Dozen? No, no. Good movie. I don't believe, I don't think I, has it aged well? Have you seen it recently? Because that would have been in the 60s. Right? I think it was remade actually as mm-hmm. well. Was yes. it remade? I think yeah, it I, was remade. It was. I haven't seen any, any of them, but I know it was remade. I haven't seen the original one. I think I may have seen the remake, actually. Who was in that? There was. Yeah, it was a little while. It was, it was a little while ago, but it was definitely remade. Now, you know what movie I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of a different movie. It was a group of convicts who escaped as they were playing soccer. They were going to play soccer. Oh, it's not um, The Great Escape. It's The Great Escape. Is that The Great Escape? Uh, 
Uh, with um, Steve McQueen. That mm, no, I feel like Stallone was in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which I mean, I I'm the, not even sure because it, huh? Uh, no, I, oh, well, look at Emmett Smith duck underneath Emmett Smith to the forty to the forty one. The moves tonight, damn by Emmett Smith. He's ducking and weaving. It's like he's in a boxing ring. He's just he's just all over the place. Seventy seven rushing yards for Emmett Smith so far. There's Elway. Elway. Time, time. Whoa, Elway said fumble covered. Cover. Oh, it's picked up by Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis was able to pick it, pick it up. Keith Millard getting credit for the strip sack. Damn, we're at the end of three. We're tied at 20. We have fumbles. We have interceptions. We have long touchdowns. We have ridiculous ankle breaking running back folks. I don't know how this is going to fit. Yeah, uh, I'm curious how Warrior Valhalla is feeling right now. Can you give us a little commentary on how your heart's beating right now over there, Sean? Yeah. Sean, let us know how you feeling. You feel it's tied at twenty, tied at twenty. What what, what are we feeling out here? The movie, <laughs> the, the movie, that, <laughs> the, the right, right. No, the movie was Victory, nineteen eighty one. Michael Caine. I've not seen that one. Uh, Stallone Ooh. and Pele. And Pele. Chad That's why Chris I was Long. thinking. You know, I knew there was a sports guy in a movie like that. So probably uh, very. I'm gonna have to watch the Dirty Dozen tonight, though, because you know the original. The original. I gotta watch the original. Sure. Chris Long had the sack there, and his dad Howie had an interception on the other side. So how about that? Father son action there. The uh, owner of Valhalla. Warrior Valhalla over here has supreme confidence in his team. Supreme. Supreme Look at confidence. This guy. You got 14 minutes to get it done, Sean. Let's see, buddy. Let's see. Okay. There's Jim Brown. Gashes. Pummels puts his shoulder down, takes a huge hit. That was a high hit. I, I would have checked that for a helmet to helmet. But That's that same hit. play where Doug Baldwin missed his block, and he got his block on that play. Yeah. And You're right. He was able to get a bunch of yards on that. Uh, Going right back handoff. to Jim Brown. And Jim Brown carried. He carried Howie Long. Long had his ankle, and he was just dragging him for a second. Lionel Jelly Roll Dalton in that interior doing a nice job pushing back along with Julius Peppers on that inside. Going to Jim Brown. Went to the right side. Zach Thomas got in there. Loss of three. What nice do you think about Thomas. soccer? Who, who are you asking who thinks about soccer? We love soccer. We love all sports. We're sports nuts. You know what? I'll be honest. I don't like soccer. Get a job. You like soccer. Get out of here. I don't like it. I don't you like really? It. You want World Cup like soccer? Nothing. I'll have tell you, you watched folks, this? Have you watched this like documentary on, no. on who's the best soccer player in the world right now? It's on Netflix. Listen, I, I, I preach. I like to go into the pool of truth with our, our listeners here. I like to be real. Jim Brown for the first down. Dan, I'll tell you. I've done play-by-play -play all over the world for every sport, local, national. The one sport I refuse to call Play by play for it with soccer. I don't like. I respect the sport. I respect the athletes. I know it's lots of talented for me from an entertainment value. I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like it. I'll never like it. You all can boo, boo me in the comments. At, boo. You know what? That's fine. I will never enjoy soccer. I don't like the sport. I'm sorry. I'll take the boos. I'll it's got to be hard to comment, be, do commentary <laughs> on soccer, though. Holds it, holds it, and it's another tie. Oh, uh, Commissioner Max saying, love soccer, played it my whole life. That's it. I, the athleticism, phenomenal. First-rate athletes across the world. I understand. I get it. I just don't like the game. I don't like it. I don't like it. Bo Jackson, first down, rumble for seven. Uh, you know, as a young there kid. There you go, Corey. Who, who, Corey doesn't who, like it either. There you go. Corey well, gets it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've learned to appreciate soccer, like, immensely. Right. Beautiful game. I agree. Ooh, I accept the booze. Let's go. Gives me strength. Who is this S. George 107? Is this one know. of our guys? S. Sure. George, who are you? Who, how Has are you in come... Europe? He's, he's watching us from Europe. I want to know this guy. Oh, have to come to Europe. I, you know what? I've, I've, been, I've been a few places in Europe. I love, I love Prague. I've been in Prague three times. I did two World Indoor Ooh. Lacrosse Championships there. First down. There's Baldwin. Doug Baldwin. First down, moving the chains. Still have not heard Heinz Ward or Paul Warfield's name all, all game, right? Yeah. No, you're right. You have a sports event in Europe. He's oh, Dutch. Listen, I love Europe. He's a Viking. Oh, there's Brown. Second and seven picked up three on that left side. Got the edge just for a moment, but was taken down with that high hit. I've been to Prague, went to uh, Berlin, 
Budapest is gorgeous. Love Budapest. Uh, Austria, Vienna, all that good stuff. Jim Brown for two more, third and fourth, six. Hey, if, if there's an event, I would love. I would love to go to Europe. I just won't watch soccer there. <laughs> I just won't watch soccer there. I'm sorry. I'll go. Dan, I will go with anybody in Europe. I just will do something. I'll go to the pub for the soccer match. And touchdown! Thread the needle. Webster Slaughter out of the slot like he did so many years in Cleveland. Webster Slaughter with the major. And now we see another lead change. Bill Dawson will go for the point after with 9.14 to go. Kick is up and count it. What a ball game, man. My goodness. This is yeah, great. a lot of time left. I mean, we could get a couple oh, more yeah. scores here. I'd like to see at least two more score changes. I, you know what? I, I don't know what to predict because just when we think we got the game figured out, somebody fumbles, interception, huge pat, whatever, runs. The running backs have been sensational today. Yeah, that makes me very happy to see the running backs do That's well. That's right. That's right. It's, maybe, uh, maybe after this, we'll 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 twitch my uh, highlight film from college. Ooh, our... <laughs> put it on. Well, we can make that the halftime show on, on our Thursday game. Why not? Okay. I mean, it's like Let's ten it. minutes long. I don't know if we want to. I got a lot of highlights, Andy. I want to see them. I've, I haven't seen the highlights. You haven't seen them? Yeah. I haven't seen. You got to send them to me. I will. Let's see if we get some more highlights here from John Elway. A little read option gave to Emmett Smith, and he grabbed five off of that. So third and five. Actually, no, got two, went to 35. Three wide out set to the left. And you got on the right hip, Emmett Smith. Elway, Elway, over the middle, double coverage. Ooh, lucky that wasn't intercepted. <laughs> so my father would, would he has all of his his high school games on Super 8. Like the okay. video, the, 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 the reels. Right. So <laughs> every year, every year, you know, the holidays or whatever, my father would be like, hey, anyone want, to, want me to bring out my highlight film? And everybody would like <laughs> walk away. So every time. So when I say I want to show people my highlight film, like that's really my dad talking. And I expect everyone to say no, you know, but I'd like to see it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to see some. I don't know if I'd want to watch it every holidays, but I'd, I'd watch it once. I put it up. I put it up on my Facebook every Ooh. year around draft day and then the first game of the season. Nice. Yeah, Jim Patton tackle for loss, bringing down Jim Brown on the left, second and twelve. Speaking of draft day, best sports movie to me. I love the movie Draft Day. Me and my dad, we have it a tradition watching every year with Kevin Costner, and watch that every year up to the draft. Gary Clark, a plant and cut from inside to the left, close to that first down mark. You've seen that one, right? You've seen Draft Day. What's that? With with, with Kevin Costner and uh, no. Jennifer Garner. What? No, never saw That's it. A, Oh, it's a phenomenal sports movie. It's amazing. You have is, to watch it. It's about is the it draft. A, is it a football movie? Yes. Yes. I, just, I can't watch football movies. I could, uh, other than there's also a Jerry Maguire. Story. Jerry Maguire is the only football movie I can watch. And the football in that movie is ridiculous as well. You got to watch Draft Day. That's your homework. It's All on right. Netflix. It's on something. Phenomenal. Really good. I know a few people from the Browns are actually in, like the staff are actually in that movie. Interesting. So it's very, very cool. All right, we got we got uh, we got a our Dutch guy here. Oh, who uh, I think he's gonna have to become a soccer owner when we get the soccer stuff going. Yeah. What, what what's your sport, Dutch guy? What's your favorite sport? Well, hey, you know what? You can jump into the college fantasy as well. The real life college ultimate college fantasy football league auction coming, folks. April twenty six to twenty nine. Just five hundred dollar minimum bid entry. Up to twenty four teams. The order of your draft will be. Look at that, Ron Evan Smith. The order of your draft will be highest to lowest final bid. So April 26 to 29, you can get whitelisted, register right now. Easy to do. Just go to uffsports.com right on that front page. Going to be right back. One second. All right. Oh, man. I'm not going <laughs> to leave you for very far. I just need to get my charger here. Okay. <laughs> Fourth and one. I thought you may have had a bathroom break or something. That's okay. No, 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 no. no. All right. Let's see. Let's see what we have. John Elway. Well, actually, now it's fourth and one, so they are not going to go for it, and they're going to punt. 556 left, lots of time. No lead is safe in the AFLL. Let's see where this punt goes from Hendrick, and it dribbles into the end zone. Will be a touchback. So, Valhalla is going to take over, try to extend this lead, see if they make it a two-point or two-score ball game. And also, folks, you want to join us in Las Vegas itself. I mentioned the Oh, there we go. 29. 
Jim Brown, six yard gain. You can, it, we're going to be there April 27, 229 for the NFL draft at Circuit Stadium Swim, VIP party on the big screen, food, drinks, Legacy Club, invite only party after, drinks at Bar Canada the night before at the D. It's going to be a heck of an event. And Gary Clark to the 39, one hander over that outside shoulder for the first down. Yeah, Valhalla's moving into field goal territory here, They're so we can there. really put this game out of out of reach if he gets a few yards here with uh, Jim Brown. I'd like to see a little run to the left, yeah. up to the right. Went to the right, got one. Maybe you should have taken your advice and run to the left. He's had a little more success, I think, up the middle and to the left. Yeah, the left for sure. The right side, he's been stuffed up a little bit. We'll see here. Out of the I formation, you got Gary Clark, the lone wide on the right. Bo Jackson with the... Well, it's fumble. Bo Jackson knocked loose. Terrell Suggs. Suggs picks it up. Jackson was bulldozing his way through. Let the ball come loose. Terrell Suggs, I think his helmet got in there. Another turnover. Suggs with the recovery. Birds of prey ball. What is going to happen here? Back on their own 29 Elway here. Emmett Smith. Little end around. And Smith grabbed one. Just when you think we got things figured out then. Yeah, I really thought this game was over, and then we get another turnover. Turnover six, I think, in this game. I'm losing track. It might yeah. be going to Emmett Smith out of the shotgun, and Emmett Smith got another one, so now third and eight. And if your bird's a prey, boy, you'd love to get a, a, a first down, at least in a field goal range. Empty backfield. Three wideouts to the left, one on the right, or reverse that, and it is intercepted. Riley. Get a job. Get it. <laughs> Ken Riley at the empty backfield, the three wideouts on the right side. Ken Riley with an interception. Valhalla get the ball right back. What a ball game, folks. Just 314 to go. Vic in the pocket. Waits, waits. And it's intercepted. For no, Jimmy. it's not. It's Patton. <laughs> Patton with the INT. Jimmy Patton, five-time Pro Bowler with the Giants with the turnover. Holy. Yeah, you know, it's just about to drop some Ken Riley knowledge on you, and all of a sudden Patton's over here picking balls off. So Patton's picking it up. Well, there's Heap with a gain of seven. Hey, Todd Heap, Heap looks good that. in the purple, right? Looks good. Looks like he's right at home. Looking good. Heap snared it. <laughs> look at, oh look, my! Look at Sean over here. Are you kidding me? Wow. Uh huh. Sean, out of the shotgun. You don't know there's what's happen here. Emmett Smith out of the backfield, first down, moving it. Jeez, what a ball game. It's like, they, it's like the game was in the chat saying, with, oh, defensive backs, they're not getting enough turnovers. There's a, there's a lot tonight. This is the most turnovers maybe in any one game this season for both teams on, when it comes to equality. There's Ed McCaffrey. A little jump ball pickup. Two-minute warning. All right, Dan, here we go. Here all, we right, go. Buddy. all right, everybody, let's get your bets in. Let's head oh. over to Red Chili's and get some bets going. Let's see. There's Elway. A little three-step drop quick. Got the rec- oh, yeah, God. there he is. Mike Smith, it's moving. Ball's moving. Yeah, that, that seems to be one of the best plays to the running backs is that just that little swing pass out yeah. to the right or to just the left quick. there. Yeah. Yeah, just quick. All right, here's Elway. You got four receivers to that right. Empty backfield. He was intercepted last time he did this. Going back to it, though. Elway, fearless. Back in the end zone. Incomplete. Now, we've not had a had a overtime yet in – our inaugural season, have we? I want to say there might have been one, but maybe really? not. But okay. maybe not. Like, if there was, it was very early. Flag on the play. We'll see who it's against. Going to be holding. Yeah. Skaronsky coming back. Oh, boy. Whew. All right. What a game. What a way to finish off week 10, folks. Remember... Trade deadline tomorrow, Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. So you want those deals, those trades, start working the phones and get them in by that deadline. Andre Risen, just right in the numbers pass there by Elway. Now, if anyone's okay. interested, I've got, I've got a running back and a receiver that I can put on the trade block here. Okay. Ooh, yep. Wide open. Dante Hall again. Is this number three for Hall? He steps out of bounds. Steps out of bounds, stops the clock at the five. Dante Hall already with two scores. Goodness gracious. This one's really coming down to it. I want Sean on video right now watching <laughs> him throw things. Out well, he's not the time. throwing things kind of guy. I am. But it's with the spin. Oh, man. London Fletcher. Oh, 
four-time Pro Bowler, 16-year career, stopped, stopped that touchdown. Two wide to the left. There's Emmitt Smith going right back to it. Emmitt's London Fletcher is a wall right now. Clutch, clutch defense. Third, that's his 13th tackle. Third and goal. Third and goal. Let's see what we got. Third and goal. Going end zone and caught touchdown. Tony. Oh, my goodness. Dan, we're all tied up. 41 seconds left. Well, assuming he gets the extra point. I shouldn't speak too soon. This is up to Josh Brown. Pressure PAT. Let's see. Kick, it's there. The pressure, it's back. And the home crowd. The home crowd. Looks like we might have our first overtime game. Boy, what a battle. What a battle. Sean's over here with his anger face. Anger emoji. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Oh, what's that? Eight, seven anger faces. Well, let's see what Valhalla's got. We're all tied up, folks. Forty-one seconds. This could be this. This could be where he gets uh, gets. Uh, uh, oh, who's the receiver? I've been talking about all game here. Baldwin Clark. Out of the Ward. Eye. There's Clark. Could be Ward. Who's it going to be? It's caught by Gary Clark. Gary Clark makes his man miss. Steps out of bounds. Forty-nine <sighs> at the Ooh. forty. Look at this. Okay. A few okay. more yards. Get a field goal. Who's his field goal kicker? What do we got here? Field goal Phil for Dawson. Fill the foot. Gary Clark made Patrick certain miss. Okay, you got the spread. Two receivers each side. Vic. He waits. He waits. Pressure coming. Vic. Going for it all. It's back no. in. It. Oh, it's broken up. Ooh, nice breakup by Pat. Very dangerous play. Very dangerous. Michael keep- Vic. You get that tight end in here, get a little seven yards, get about eh, maybe 12 yards here, and you've got a field goal and game's over. Michael Vick, 2010 comeback player of the year. There's Jim Brown. Jim Brown, go for 10. He's more. (gasps) 15, 17 yards for Jim Brown. That's why he's the goat. Jim Brown dashes that left side. The clock is running. Valhalla has all their time. Both teams have all their timeouts. It's out of the eye. 13 seconds. Clock going 12 seconds. Let's see if we get another fumble here. Going to Jim Brown. And he gets right back in. Derek Johnson leveled him. Seven seconds left. Timeout called by Valhalla. Okay. All right. We're going for the field goal here, Dan. I think Valhalla may uh, rethink that trade in Jim Brown thing here. Phil Dawson, it's up. It's back. It is good. 45 yard. Phil Dawson makes it. Four seconds left. Dan, dare I say, I don't know if this one is actually over yet. Yeah, well, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> How have we seen it tonight? I don't think we're getting any f- kickoff returns. You got to no, well, hopefully if this goes of- out of the end zone. Well, right. let's see. Let's see what they go for. Could be It's a Hail Mary. In four seconds. Hail Mary with John Elway. And you with know, it's only up by a field goal. So you just <laughs> captain comeback at the okay. helm in the there shotgun. Three Triplets receivers left. left side. Yep. A sack. I mean, a fumble. And a, and a, no turnover. It's wow, over. London Fletcher again. Wow. London Great job, Valhalla. With the sack with, to end it, Birds of Prey could not get the ball loose. 30 <laughs> 27. Wow. I'm exhausted. Yeah, Un- that was a great game. Best game so far this season. Well, yeah, except for my game last list at this weekend. <laughs> I think it's, well, it, as far as close, true back and forth, that was spectacular. We had a great game earlier, too. Demo Gods and Elite. They had a great back and forth as well. My goodness, 30-27. What I loved about this game, Dan, was the running backs really dominating and, yeah. the, deep, and the defensive backs, those secondaries who have been held in check, getting a ton of turnovers and really being a force. Yeah, my expose was completely wrong this week. So I had <laughs> none, was completely off. So, I mean, turnover is really the name of the game today. Yeah. Oh, my Just God. Amazing. Well, it, it, and you know what, Dan, you look right there on the screen. NFL Draft Las Vegas Party Package, limited ones still available. Join us, VIP at stadiums, and watch the NFL Draft on the big screen. I actually found out from David at Circa, the GM, uh, Dan, we're going to have some first and second round draft prospects at Circa on Thursday oh, wow. and Friday. So draft oh, wow. prospects are going to be milling around. We could be getting to hang out with some of those future stars. Invite only to Legacy Club afterwards. Yeah, I might have to rethink coming out there. I'm going to see Come if on, maybe man. I can. We'll see what I can do. I'm going to yeah. talk to uh, the company that's sending me to Missouri and see if they can switch my flight. Well, we're going to Walt Harris is going to be there. Lionel Dalton. You know, we're having uh, a, a bunch of team reps as well from Fury, from Elite, from uh, the Goats, 
all sorts. It's going to be a ton of fun. So if you want to be a part of it, you can just go to uffsports.com and the info is right there to sign up. And uh, there you go. But Let's all say it. say goodbye to our friend from the Netherlands. Yes. Dutch friend. Yep. Yes. Hopefully thanks for jumping on. Sees us again. Yeah. Click follow. Listen, and you know what? You, you click follow. How about the? If you come to Vegas, I'll start. I'll watch a soccer game with you. Fly out, come to Vegas. I'll, I'll watch a soccer match with you on the pitch. I'll watch one with you. That'll be your uh, your reward to come. All right, Dan. That'll do it. A forty. Oh, before hey, Corey, we go, right. Dan. Yeah. Forty yeah. yard dash. Dan issued the challenge. Walt Harris accepted. So Dan, I hope uh, you do. All right. I'm going to make some phone calls first thing in the morning and we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm excited. I'm very right. excited. We're, we're awesome. going to put that on Twitch. We're going to put that on Twitch. All right, yeah. guys, thanks for joining us. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at Andy MC81 at Almighty Espo at the AFLL. Check out all the, U- all the American Football League legend stats, the standings, the logos, the team shop, the schedule, all right now at ufsports.com slash AFLL. Keep up to date on all that, the game recaps, all that good stuff. All right, Dan, good stuff, buddy. We'll do it again Thursday. All right, my friend. Talk to you later. All right, we will see you Thursday night for Thursday Night Legends Football, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here for Dan, for Max, I'm Andy. You've been watching the AFLL Game of the Week as Valhalla comes back, beats Birds of Prey 30-27. to We will see you Thursday night.